This is a demonstration of Landsweeper's add-on for Splunk. Landsweeper is the industry leader in device discovery, providing agentless, credential-free, and credential-based device recognition, identification, and asset management across all connected IT, OT, and IoT. The Landsweeper add-on is used to fetch and display asset details from Landsweeper to the user based on the IP and MAC address provided. To configure the add-on, navigate to the Accounts tab within the Configuration page. Click on Add, provide the token value, and save the credential. The token value used is the identity code of the personal application configured in Landsweeper for authorization purposes. The user can also configure settings for proxy support and login level in the Proxy and Login tab, respectively. Once the configurations are complete, the user can leverage the investigation dashboard provided to display the details of the asset to the user. For this, navigate to the investigation dashboard from the menu. The investigation dashboard contains the following user input. Investigation mode live. Live investigation mode is used when the user wants to explicitly provide the filter values according to which the asset information is fetched and displayed to the user. Investigation can be either IP or MAC address to indicate the value of the filters being used. Site ID represents a list of site IDs from which to fetch the data. The maximum results per site is by default 500. In case you want to fetch all the data, you can use star instead of 500. This text box is used to provide a comma-separated list of either absolute or partial IP addresses according to which the data is fetched and displayed to the user. For example, let me put an IP address in here and by clicking on submit, the panel will be populated and displayed to the user. Here we can see that all the data matching the given IP, both absolute and impartial IP addresses are displayed. Expanding over the arrow button gives more details about the particular asset. Now I'm going to change the investigation mode to local. Local investigation mode is used when the user wants to provide filter values from an already ingested event in Splunk. Here, the time input is used to specify the time from which the events are to be taken. Index specifies the index from which the time is to be taken. Source types specify the source types of the events. And fields specifies the particular field from which the values for the filters are to be taken. In addition to this, the add-on also specifies two custom commands that can be used in conjunction with Splunk searches. The two custom commands are lsip and lsmac. They can be used as follows. The lsip command can be used to specify a list of IP values according to which the data is to be fetched. This is a comma-rated separated list of site IDs from which to fetch the data and maximum results per site to indicate the maximum number of results to be taken from a particular site. Executing the command will return a list of assets with matching IP addresses. Similarly, if instead of taking the IP values direct from the user, if the user wants to take the IP values from other fields of an already ingested Splunk event, the custom command can be used in this way by preparing a search to lsip command and instead of ip specifying the field name from which to take the filter value, lsp mac is like LSP lsip except the ip field is replaced by the mac field which takes a valid list of mac addresses. The add-on also provides workflow actions for displaying the asset details based on the value. To do this, I'm clicking on the value selected from the already ingested Splunk events as below. Selecting the MAC value from the MAC field here provides a workflow action named Landsweeper Investigation by MAC Addresses. And clicking on it will re 
redirect the investigation dashboard and populate the panel based on the filter values selected. The field names for which the workfly actions are enabled are configured by default. However, they can be modified. To modify the configuration of, for a workflow action, navigate to the add-on settings tab within the configuration page. Here you can modify the list of field names for the workflow actions to work. Thank you for watching this demonstration of our Landsweeper add-on for Splunk.